In this video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual extension and how to assign it to a handset and make it ring. I will be assuming you have access to your phone system already, otherwise ask your dealer for an admin account. Once you have logged in, click on System Data. Or, depending on what kind of login you have, you might already be on a page similar to this. Once you're in, we've got to go to 1104, Virtual Extension Numbering. Here you have the option of either creating a new virtual extension, but in this case we'll be using the existing 300 extension. Next step, once you've created your virtual extension, you go to 1501. In here you can give it a name, just so you can identify it later on when you forget what it was used for. Once you've selected the extension and named it, click apply. Next memory block will be 1507. In this memory block you've got to assign the virtual extension to a key on the handset you want it to ring on. As you can see on the photo, this is how the keys correspond to the handset keys. So we'll choose extension 114 from the drop down menu and select a free extension key. So to move left and right, you click on those blue little arrows on the top right hand corner. You will need to take note depending on what type of handset you have as to what button you program. If we use this 24 button handset as an example, if we program button 26 or 25, you won't be able to see the button function on the actual handset, but you can make the virtual extension ring. They just won't see it flash on the key. So on this extension, we can see button 19 is free. So we can go to the drop down menu and select virtual extension. Then you enter the virtual extension pilot number from 1104. In this case, it's 300. So remember, we configured the virtual extension on button 19. You'll need to remember the button for the next steps. Next memory block will be 1509. In here is where you specify if the handset, in this case extension 114, is to ring when virtual extension 300 is rung. If you don't set this block, extension 114 will just flash on button 19 every time virtual extension 300 is rung. Once you've selected your extension, in this case 114, go to button 19, or the button you've configured. In this case, it's 19. Make sure you tick all those boxes in all the modes, so the extension can still ring no matter what mode the system is being put into. If you don't want it to ring in night mode, and you know mode 2 is night mode, then just don't tick that mode. Now every time virtual extension 300 is rung, extension 114 will ring. If you need extension 114 to ring on a delay, not immediately, go to memory block 1511. Select the extension and go to button 19. And make sure you tick the boxes for button 19. Just note, if you go straight into 1511 and tick button 19, but you do not tick 1509, the handset will not ring. If you want the handset to ring on a delay in day mode, but immediately in night mode, Leave day mode ticked, and we'll assume mode 2 is for night mode, so just untick that. Alright, now we've got extension 114 ringing every time virtual extension 300 is rung. So that means if you point any type of trunk, like a DID trunk or a PSTN trunk via DIL to virtual extension 300, extension 114 and any other extension you've done the same to will all ring. Now I've tried to make this video as short as I could, so let me know in the comments below if I was just too fast or too slow. Hopefully I still helped you out and you found value in this video and smash that like button. And don't forget to log out once you've done everything, otherwise you won't be able to log in if you just close the window. Thank you for watching, hopefully you can like, share and subscribe. Take care!